What's the difference between these two products? On the left, we have an all-purpose soil fertilizer. You know, the kind of stuff you'd pick up cheap in a big box store. And on the right, a hydroponic nutrient designed for growers using soilless growing media like stone wool, perlite, or hydrogen clay balls. In fact, let's bring in a third bottle just to make it interesting. A mineral-based nutrient that claims to be for soil, but more like the type of thing you'd find in an indoor gardening store at a higher price point than the all-purpose stuff. Now, when I say soil, some of you might think of the dirt in your outdoor garden, whereas some of you may be thinking of a pot mix that you'd buy in a bag and fill your containers with. So, the first bombshell? Those potting mixes at your local indoor gardening store may contain less soil than you might think. Soil and soilless potting mixes usually share the main base inert organic components such as peat, cocoa, and bark. But potting soil has significant amounts of compost, aka humus, in it. Humus is an active organic component of both field soil and potting soil. The humus, which is the same name we give to fully composted organic matter, will support microbes and hold water and nutrients. Your potting mix may also contain stuff like bat guano, worm castings, and bone meal to provide plant nutrition. All great stuff. Just note that some potting mixes are deliberately very light in nutrition, meaning that you have to start using extra feed pretty much straight away, whereas others are very rich and can support a fast-growing plant for up to four weeks before you need to start supplementing with additional nutrients. For the purpose of this discussion, however, when I say soil, I'm talking about premium potting mixes such as Vermi Soil, Vermi Fire, Just Right Extra, and stuff like that. The main difference between a hydroponic nutrient and a mineral nutrient designed for soil is the presence of calcium and trace elements. Calcium and silica are generally omitted from mineral nutrient blends for soil because they're already present in the mix. You may have some trace elements in there, but they will be at a lower concentration. Potassium levels tend to be lower in mineral soil fertilizers, whereas you'll typically find higher levels of ammoniacal nitrogen rather than nitrate-based nitrogen compared with hydroponic nutrients. One way to get this straight in your head is to think of hydroponic nutrients as complete mineral fertilizers in as much as they contain the entire spectrum of elements that your plants need. A hydroponic nutrient formula assumes a nutrient-free environment, so it has to supply all the elements that your plants need. Your big box store lawn and garden liquid fertilizer is probably made from lower purity inputs at lower concentrations to accommodate for a larger margin for application error. It may also contain some slow-release elements so it can remain effective over a longer period of time. Mineral nutrients for soil, like those you find in your indoor gardening store are most likely higher grade and may contain some calcium but will certainly be lower in trace elements. Hydroponic nutrients are highly soluble and designed to be uptaken much more rapidly. They will be higher concentration and the inputs will be technical grade purity. That's one above food grade, two above fertilizer grade, but one below reagent grade and two below the very top analytical grade which is ultra pure for lab experiments. Okay, got all that? What about actually using this stuff you ask Everest? Well, I often get asked, can I use a hydroponic nutrient in soil? Answer? Yes! It's a complete fertilizer after all, but I'd like to add a few caveats. If your potting mix is rich, like the ones I mentioned earlier, then it already contains all the nutrition that your young plants need to get started. No need to add anything but water. However, after a few weeks, say up to four, if you're cultivating hungry, fast-growing annuals and containers, you'll probably want to start supplementing some nutrition. So, there's nothing to stop you from using a hydroponic nutrient at this point. Just go easy, half the strength at the very most. Try feeding every other watering or feeding twice, then just using water the third time. In soilless mixes such as ProMix or ProMix HP, use hydroponic nutrients at full strength. Don't forget to check the pH of your nutrient solution too. Generally, if your pH range is between 5.5 and 6.0, then you're good to go in soilless media. And for soil-based potting mixes, shoot for 6 to 6.5. The other converse question is, of course, can you use mineral nutrients designed for soil in hydroponics? The answer, unsurprisingly, is no. Or at least, I wouldn't recommend doing it as it wouldn't contain enough trace elements. Elements. If you want to grow hydroponically, choose a hydroponic nutrient. Something like Flora Series by General Hydroponics would be ideal. If you're growing in Coco Coir, then I'd recommend a Coco specific hydroponic nutrient like Coco Tech Grow and Bloom. I hope I made all that clear. Hit me up with any questions in the comments. If you're interested in using organic nutrients with soil, then don't worry, I promise we'll cover that another time. Bye for now, and don't forget to subscribe. This is Everest out.